Welcome back to another episode of the Worry Ward Gamer. Halo Infinite is a absolute mess. The game has been completely and totally fumbled. It's like there's this large hole in a field and you're consistently throwing the pass and your entire team disappears and you don't know what happened. Where did they go? I threw the ball. Where did they go? Well, there's a big hole in the field. When are we going to fix it? Time after time, year after year after year, and now finally, when everything is completely and totally dismantled and destroyed, and in a state of chaos, then and only then do we flip the switch and decide, maybe we should get rid of some people who aren't getting it done. So Bonnie Ross decides to say that she's leaving for family medical reasons, and maybe that's true. Wish her all the best. But then we have reports today that it's a massive restructuring that is causing the departure of not only Bonnie Ross, but some other people. And they're bringing in new blood to fix Halo. The problem is it's still Xbox. It's still Microsoft. They are still management. There are still management issues. So are these new people all of a sudden going to be given the tools that they need to fix this game? Can they even fix it at this point? We've got a season two announcement of Halo, the TV series. We we're beginning filming of the new season of Halo. Maybe we should put that on the back burner. Maybe we should allocate every and any resource, you know, because they said that resources needed to be scrapped like co-op so that they can gather more resources to put into the quote-unquote live service of the game. If you don't have those resources, if Matt Booty, whose job it is to remove obstacles for people, to give them the resources that they need, if they're needing resources and they had to cut something, obviously he's not giving them what they need because if he was, they wouldn't have had to cut anything so maybe if we have the resources that we need and we give them to these new people we can create something at least serviceable at this point this game is the biggest franchise that microsoft has it's one of the most identifiable franchises almost anywhere especially if you're a console gamer you know master chief you know mario you know zelda and for them to take this franchise and allow it to degrade to this point is absolutely unbelievable. There are two Ps in the world, people. There are only two Ps, the world of possible and the world of probable. And anything is possible. However, not most things are probable. So you've got to look to statistics here. Is the probability of Halo Infinite being salvaged to the point where it's resurrected to its former glory in the Halo 1, 2, 3, even Halo 4 days, probably, probably not. Less than 50% at this point. What they need to do is scrap this game completely. Scrap Season 2 or Season whatever of the multiplayer. Create a new story. Cr let these people create a game that is worthy of the pedigree of Halo create a story that resonates with gamers, create a sizzle trailer like that God of War Ragnarok trailer that moves people. Halo should have a trailer like that. It should get people excited like that. And then move into the live service aspect of everything. Again, new people coming in aren't going to change much if the same management and the same company that push this idea of taking Halo and trying to turn it into Destiny or some live service, if they're still there and it's the same company, how are these people going to change anything? So while I think it's great that Microsoft finally decided, finally, it took how many mistakes, it took how long for this game to be completely and totally put in the state that it's in, they finally decided that it's time to do something is it too little too late do we need a complete reboot of this franchise from this new team because it's still the same 343 under microsoft these new people coming in 
are they still going to have to deal with this? Yeah, but make it this, or are they going to be able to do what's needed? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.